Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Ultra Macros Gacha video. If you guys have not checked out the last video, I highly recommend you to do so because we talk a lot about the brand new stuff that has been implemented in version 5.1.0. It is a pretty lengthy video, but you know, if you guys watch through the entire thing, you know how important it is to probably get yourself to know all the main new improvements to the game. So yes, for those of you who have actually watched through the entire thing, I thank you so much. It has helped with the view count and of course the duration count on your view time as well, uh, which is very, very important for any YouTuber out there. So it's always, always essential to watch the entire video instead of fast forwarding, skipping to a certain point, you know, but when you're re-watching the thing, it's understandable, you just go straight to the thing that you really, really need to consult over. So, <laughs> as usual, thank you guys so much. Um, so let's get down to the main business of today. I think I have my event gacha tickets ready for claim or already claimed. So let's dive into the gacha page and let's do all the needed stuff. Uh, I still have to pull my event gacha tickets for Freya's gacha. Um, because we didn't get anything that fantastic in the last video uh, we have singing stones enough for probably Mikumo's step up gacha as well today so hopefully we can at least try you know to pull out Freya's or Mikumo's 6 star episode plate um, to complete the collection to a you know certain extent all right so let's take a look at Mikumo's brand new um, Violet Noble episode plate Right, so 4,253 total score. Um, that is with the plus 25 luck value. Of course, this episode played focus on Soul because it's blue series. Uh, even though the current event song is technically a rainbow, so it it doesn't really matter which stat is on on this episode play because eventually the song itself requires all three stats um, to really give you that good high score that you need. Um, then of course, pay attention to the three other divas that can use uh, Kumo Kumo's episode plate. Uh, surprisingly enough, Makina is one of them. <laughs> Alright, so as usual, the center skill is the double S rank skill. If you have used this episode plate on a Macross Delta song, you will get that 150% boost in the units. So, I do apologize if you guys can hear all the renovation that's going on in the neighbor's apartment above mine. Uh, they're, they're still going at it. It's been like two weeks. <laughs> and yeah, so since I'm home today, uh, off from work, uh, and yeah, I might as well do the gacha video on time when the gacha rolls out. So, and okay, so first thing before we move on to the next page, of course, you guys want to know how is the episode plates total value like um, before the plus 25 luck value? So, Sadly enough, it's one of those episode plates that is of course um, on the low tier end of total score for a 7 star episode plate. But Mikomo's episode plate is actually 1 point. I did say 1 point clearly, right? Yes, it is literally 1 point higher than Freya's episode plate. So Kumo Kumo stands at 4003. Uh, while well, Freya is actually 4002. <laughs> so, still not the most wonderful points on the 7 star episode plate, but you know, with that um, particular stat focus on the episode plate, especially with the center skill, uh, I think it generally covers its usefulness when it comes to a specific song type or maybe for songs that are rainbow in terms of it has, you know, it doesn't matter which type of points the episode play has. Alright, moving along. Active skill, same thing as always for a 7 star episode play. Uh, if it's fully evolved, um, you get that double activation skill. Life skill, uh, as you can tell here, it has that red box or if you guys are colored blind, you just recognize the Japanese text. It says short. So score up ability, pretty much similar to Frey Frey's episode play. Um, yeah, so I guess it's just that total score, you know, it's higher than Freya's by one point. If that really matters to you, <laughs> I guess Mikumo's play is technically better. Alright, moving on to the last page. No special notes attached to it. So is this play 
a must get less pretty much the same answer when it comes to Freya's episode play if you guys are not the fans of the divas themselves I think it's okay to hold back uh, they're not exactly fantastic episode plates but you know generally in terms of high score use I think it's always good to have episode plates uh, of this kind at least a, a certain quantity of them uh, one piece you know will just suffice for future high score achievement purposes so yeah and then aside from that you know getting the brand new costumes added to your collection of seven star costumes um, is always a good thing that is if you have the singing stones for it if not you know it's always nice to be patient um, hopefully these episode plates will come around with the seven uh, seven step step up gacha that guarantees a six star episode play in the future uh, it's a long way to go before they ever come around but you know eventually they will but by then maybe they might um, toss us some even more powerful seven stars by then or even introduce eight star episode plays who knows uh, that's 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 the future for the game but we'll, we'll leave it to the development team to decide all right so with all of that said, let's do all the usual stuff. We'll start with the free daily pool. Then of course we've got some Super Dimension tickets to clear. So hopefully we'll push the luck out from, you know, wherever it's hiding. Considering how unlucky we were yesterday. <laughs> I mean, the last video. It wasn't yesterday, right? Oh god, I'm losing my sense of time. Okay. There we go, so no Valkyrie animations, no special blings, it's just a common plate, uh, but still a pretty rare one. Don't have that many copies of it, so that's pretty fantastic. Okay, so let's dive into the Super Dimension pool. Uh, probably doing a 10 plate pool here because we've got certain amount of tickets that's expiring. Um, so yeah, let's do that. So these tickets were like kind of leftover from the last uh, mission challenges that they gave a whole bunch. Okay, we did get a very quick load. So, I'm not expecting much from this one. Yep, so it's a mediocre Valkyrie animation. A single red box on the first bling. Ooh, we do get a rainbow box and lots of red boxes. So maybe the luck today isn't that bad. Maybe it's a good idea to actually have the event gacha tickets for free as gacha today. Oh, a pretty rare uh, kimono episode plate for Maki Maki. So that's pretty nice. Okay, let's skip ahead. Alright, pretty common episode plate, I guess, for both. Alright. There we go, the last red box. Getting a bit of Freya love here. I wonder what the red bo rainbow box will be. Here it is. No evolution on it. Where is oh! Wow, we're actually getting two kimono costumes from episode plates. Okay. Uh, technically, the Makina episode plate doesn't give you that, that particular kimono costume, but uh, it's an illustration with a kimono, nonetheless. Alright. So evolution for Ray Ray's kimono plate, that's fantastic. It isn't a bad pool, still. I wish, you know, we will have the luck still retained on the main step up gacha or the main gacha banner. It's always nice to actually pull something rarer. <laughs> okay, so let's dive into the main gacha. Um, I guess we'll do the single free pool from this one first. If we got lucky with the single pool, I have nothing to say. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, ooh, one single Valkyrie animation. Seems like today's luck is pretty good considering that even the free pool is getting an animation. Okay. So, yeah, it's still a pretty rare common plate. So that's a good sign. Okay, so I think we should do Freya's event gacha ticket pool first before we step into Kumo Kumo's territory. So let's move back to this one and let's hit with the 10 event tickets. Oh, so we get some loading there. 
although it's a pretty quick one, but they didn't get stuck for a moment. Okay. So yeah, it seems like today's luck is a lot better, but still pretty mediocre. Alright, two red boxes. So it's unlikely we'll be getting Freya's episode plate. Getting a lot of love from Osma. <laughs> okay. Here we go, the first red box. Alright. Moving along. Second red box. So no evolution as expected. Wow. Lots of Christmas rock gala. love. Ah, that's okay. It's one of the featured costumes for this banner anyway. So getting more points means more episode ops to unlock maybe costumes that we've not unlocked before. So yeah. Eh, kind of expected. I, I predicted that, you know, this event gacha ticket pool would be dry. Anyways, now it's time to get nervous with Mikomo's step up banner. Oh god. Here we go. At least, at least it's good to know that Makina's and Reina's noble costumes will be easier to attain since they are 6 star episode plates rather than 7 star. But still. <laughs> okay. So this is the average pool rate at a discounted rate. Uh, yeah, kind of expected it will be dry, but you know, one can hope. Okay, that's a single rate box. Saving the best for last. Hopefully, it falls. Here we go. Oh. Alright, we're getting a bit of Hayate love. It's nice to see the lanterns in the shape of jellyfish. <laughs> Ooh, got a new plate. That's cool. Okay, let's move on to step two. Uh, if I'm not wrong, this one guarantees us a four star episode plate and above. Yep, here we go. Hmm, ooh, a bit of a loading bar. One, two, three. Yeah, it's still going on the mediocre train ride, so... Hmm. Okay, two red boxes. Still hoping for them to evolve. Go the first one, no evolution. Oh, all right, some lolly Cheryl. And the last one, uh, guess we're sticking with the four star plates then, but we still get more jellyfish lanterns. <laughs> uh, this messes spirit haunting my gacha, I guess. Okay. Let's move on to step 3. At least this one guarantees us a 5 star plate, so it's definitely a rainbow box. But will we see it evolve? That's another thing. Hmm. Ooh, more loading. But still. Oh boy. Single Valkyrie, no Golden Orc. That's just. Not good. Okay, so we do get our guaranteed rainbow box. Oh man, the oh, oh, it did evolve further. Okay, it's still a Kumo Kumo plate. It feels like Freya's gacha video all over again. We do get, you know, at least the featured Divas episode plates, but it's not the main one. Don't give me the two thumbs up, Ranka. It's it's not a good pool. <laughs> okay, ah. Uh, I feel like that illustration is cursing me. <laughs> it's the, the whole Ray Ray pen, uh, situation again. Okay. Oh, there's a bit of lag. No, it didn't evolve. Oh, oh, this isn't too bad. It's at least one of Kaname's better episode plates. Okay. So yeah, so this Kumo plate isn't exactly a fantastic one. I barely use it, it's pretty old. And 
yeah, the stats on it are horrible as you can tell. It's like 2-9. <laughs> it's, it's definitely aged and it's not aged well. Alright, so, but at least this one, this one isn't too bad if I'm not wrong. Oh, it's equally bad. Okay, so it's not the plate that I was thinking of. I thought it was one of Kaname's plates with the special note attached to it, but uh, this is a flop. It's a flop of a poo. Oh no. Well, uh, considering that I did pull out 7 star plates, or rather 6 star plate forms, um, you know, recently with Basara's best episode plate, and of course, at the beginning of September, September we also did get one featured 7 star, uh, 6 star in this form. So, uh, you know, it was it was kind of expected it would be dry. Ah, okay, should I go for it? Yeah, I think we should just do the discounted pool, since we actually did for Freya as well. Um, you know, just give the optimum chance. Although we didn't, we didn't pull the last steps on the step up banners because it's just too expensive. It's five hundred stones for the same rate as the discounted pool on the main banner. So yeah, let's just try and save seeing stones for future pools in the future. So here's the last pool of the day. Uh, loading bar doesn't seem meaningful <laughs> right now. Considering we know the luck is pretty. Ooh! I take my words back, maybe. Okay, three red boxes, but we did get a golden orb, so we do know that at least one of them will evolve. But how far will it evolve? That's another thing. Ray Ray, bring me luck! Aww. Okay. Ranka and her good jobs. It's a curse, I tell you. It's a curse. <laughs> if, if a particular theme of episode plates keep appearing, it's, it's definitely a curse, I feel. I feel like it is. <laughs> oh well. Uh, all the thumbs up and I'm not getting good stuff. It's just not right. Okay. Oh, the rare Mirage appears. Okay. We got one more red box to go. And oh, two rare mirages. That's fine. And we get one Ranka plate. Uh, so far, this this video has been a flop. Technically, uh, the episode plates that we do get are not exactly fantastic as well. At least the good job episode plate has better stats than the last two that we put up. So yeah, and it, yeah, score repeatability. That's pretty okay. So yeah. So anyway guys, that's it. It's a dry month of October. No luck with the brand new costumes um, for the upcoming Macross Delta movie. Uh, but at least I'm looking forward to at least trying to attain Ray Ray and Makita's costume because those two are actually more important to me than Freya and Mikumo. I'm sorry Freya and Mikumo fans, but you know, my waifus come first. <laughs> I mean technically it should be the same for you. The waifus should come first. So luckily this time round my Valkyrie waifus are not the expensive episode plate types so I have to be thankful for that. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video and the last video if you did watch that one entirely. I really really thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you know, and of course before we go, make sure you do all the wonderful stuff like like, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then. Um, don't forget to hit follow on Instagram. Yo, <laughs> bye.